All right, folks, we are going on a road trip today with the cell phone, the cell phone on the road show. We're going down to Herkimer, New York to visit Empire Diner, Crazy Otto's Empire Diner. So follow me. We're going to be down there in just a couple seconds, actually, because the magic of television will get us right there. So follow me down, Crazy Otto's Empire Diner, Herkimer, New York. We're going to go there right now. Boom. All right, we made it down to Herkimer, New York. We are at Crazy Otto's Empire Diner down here. It's kind of chilly today and kind of windy out here. So let's go in, talk to Scott, the owner, in here and see what this place is all about. Let's go in, check it out. Hey folks, here we are. We made it down here. I right. told you two seconds and Magic of Television get us down here. So we're here with Scott, the owner, Crazy Otto's Empire Diner. Look at this place. Yep, look at it. I come down here a little early, try to grab some well, stuff that's going on down here. But I'm glad just, you came down when it wasn't busy. Yeah, no, it's yeah. it's 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 got some it's got some action going on here today. Well, we'd so like to welcome you to our home here. Yes. When I joke around and I say, I talk in different voices like, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, <laughs> children of all ages. I mean that. You're welcome here. Come in. It's fun. We have yeah, fun. We also have uh, an inflation yes. buster card. Yes. Okay. Yes. Things are a little crazy right now in our world and we're trying to spread the love to locals. And so you come in, you get your inflation buster card, you get 20% off your yeah. whole check. I came down a couple weeks and yeah. I, I tested it out myself and it works. And it works and you hold on until February. February. Then okay. it might be a recession buster yeah. card. We don't know. <laughs> might say you have to pay 10% more. So no, but that, that's not going to happen. So. But no, what so a wonderful place. Look, look at all this stuff. I mean, yeah. it's just uh, crazy diner. And this is the historical Empire Diner down here. You got to walk in and see the kitchen, too. See the yeah. guys there. Okay, we'll walk yeah, in. Yeah, you can do that there. Let's, uh, turn okay. it around. Yeah. yeah, let's spin it around. That's Amanda. That's okay. Amanda right there. Hi, Amanda. Say hi, Amanda. I get more five-star ratings from this girl right here. It's unbelievable. That's it. Let's Master go. Baker, too. Let's take a walk I'm back. Walk back here. Hey, wow, Joe! Look. We got action going on back here. It's in. Oh, my gosh. This is the cook line look here, guys. This. Hey, everybody, take a second and turn and say hello. We're going on television. Oh, right, Crazy autos. There you go. Look at that. We got food cooking here. We got all sorts of stuff going on. Look, I can't even squeeze back here. There's action going on. Look at these plates. Look at these plates cooking here. These guys working like lightning speed. Everybody's working. <laughs> All right, let's go back out here. We'll go in there when it kind of slows guy. down a little bit. Holy cow. Oh, we had people running out the door. I guess they didn't want to be on film. <laughs> is that what that is? I don't you never know. You never know who's going to come in. We've had some pretty uh, crazy people come oh, in there. In the oh, look Literally at these guys. That's right, it is. That's right. That was not a paid endorsement, I would like to say. <laughs> oh, so, you know, crazy. one thing I wanted to ask you, and I don't think yeah. I ever asked you, was what's I, th I might have asked you the crazy auto thing. Okay. What's, where did that come from? Uh, the original name came from a, a gentleman named Otto Linzel. Ah. And he used to cook up in the uh, uh, Cascades and the Lumberjacks and stuff up there in the camps. And he retired. And he went down as a little retirement venture in the Antelope Valley in California. He decided to start a little diner and call it uh, Otto's Diner. And everybody said he was crazy to do it there because it was next to Is the it railroad track. Otto's or Otto? Uh, Otto's. O-T-T-O-S. Okay. Yeah, crazy Otto's. Otto's. Okay. Right. And he was uh, German. And they said he was crazy to start it there. This is the, this is back in the day. Frank Zappa, you know, all these yeah. people lived out there and stuff. Yeah. Jerry Garcia that come into the into the diner there, and yeah. he started it called the Crazy Autos, and it took off. Oh, nice! And that that's basically where the name come. And you brought it from. here. Brought it here with the original Empire Diner that's been here seventy years now. Yeah, okay. a long time. And, you know, I remember the history of it was. They were across the street. You know that, right? Yeah, they were across the street. Burger, were, King, Mark. Burger King. They were all over there in 1952. It was the most modern kitchen in all of upstate New York. Uh, there's a lot of history here in Herkimer. People don't even realize. Um, 
1968, Bobby Kennedy gave a stump speech on the steps of, of the diner. Right, um, right across uh, the street. Right, right across right, the street. Right over, it's going to be right over there, and we'll get some shots. Uh, back when President Lincoln was assassinated, his funeral train uh, stopped here because yeah. Herkimer is the county seat. So there used to be railroad tracks yeah, in front of that right there. They, all the people came out and paid respect to uh, President Lincoln. So a lot of lot of little history. Yeah, been and, done you, and we're going to take a shot of the back. And we're yeah, see during the... COVID, we did. We had a little bit of creative uh, time in our in our lives, and so we uh, did this whole tractor trailer back east, oh, uh, back in back of the diner here. And we call it Dine with the Legends because yeah. there's been a lot of people that have eaten here. And we did a little East Coast West Coast flavor, so you'll see it when you go out back. Now, Pretty now, cool. Now recently. You had Kiefer Sutherland pop Yeah, in. Kiefer. I, I knew his dad out in California and met his dad and stuff. And uh, it was good when Kiefer came in, had a great talk with him. Uh, very down to earth, very uh, very good guy. Good guy. Had the pork chops. Had the pork chops. That's what he had. And I think Melissa was his server. I'm not sure. It was oh, yeah. No? No. Oh, you're supposed to. Oh, it was Jen. No. That's right. It was Jen who was. <laughs> Jenny was? Who yeah. was? Which one? Yeah. Which one is Jen? Yeah, Melissa. <laughs> Oh, okay. we're trying to figure out who served yeah. Kiefer. Who served Kiefer? Marcella's not here today, but she's Kiefer. in college. Okay, where did he sit? Uh, he actually sat right here. Right, right here. Right here. Right here. On co counter number this eight is, and nine. This is the uh, Kiefer spot this, right here. So anybody spot. wants to come in and sit where Kiefer sat, that's where he sat. Oh, we've had governors in here. A uh, funny story was uh, when Governor Pataki was the governor, he's sitting here with Jim Seward, the senator, and over on booth one there, uh, you had an older couple sitting there, and she goes, oh, my God, honey, honey, I think that's the governor. And without skipping a beat, this is before we were crazy autos. Right. Without skipping a beat, he goes, the, dump, the governor wouldn't be seen in a dump like this. and kept eating this. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, George Pataki and uh, Jim Stewart love telling that story. And, and uh, we, we've had a lot of, lot of good people that have come in and, and eaten here. Elvis Presley supposedly had eaten in here uh, back in the corner, left-hand side, when he performed down in uh 1970 72 in fact uh, really? the, the older gentleman sitting on the counter there he doesn't like to be filmed but anyway <laughs> it's okay we'll keep uh, it quick he, he as a young man personally saw all of this and so you know Ralph right Franco, here yeah right here right here well it was across the street across the street okay yeah, across the street at the time now this so. building it's a it's a historical looking traditional diner thing now this wasn't the same one from over there is this yes, a, it was same this one. is the same exact one same exact one this oh. is a 1952 mountain view that was um manufactured in signac new jersey and there's only one of three or four left it's in amazing the whole United States. it's amazing the quality yep. Yep. of and we'll see this outside and, and you can see but i would have thought it was a like a recreation nope. of what was across this the street. This is the That's original. Now, we've had to upgrade certain things because over time, you know, 70 years, things break down, wear out, pipes right. go, uh, you know, so you got to upgrade to the to the copper and stuff like that and right. some of the flooring. But, yeah, every... It's every wonderful every, condition, yeah. wonderful, just, I mean, it's just, you can see the history, but, yeah, I... Uh, always amazed. I'm a Herkimer boy. I born and raised here. I come here, you know, many years when I was a kid. Yeah. And, you know, I told you before, they used to have the little opening over there in the, in the back over there, and they used to have the little step down. Yep. And, you know, we hope to get that back one day. We have first rights on the law firm next nice, to us that nice. uh, we can purchase once he retires and reopen it. And try <laughs> nice. it into That'll be good. Room. That'll yeah. be a good yeah. for down here. So, listen, you're a staple down here. This is a staple well, place. This, this will be my children that will be taking over. Right. I've got you know a couple of sons back there you just filmed uh, yeah. that are working, uh, Afghan uh, okay. war veteran back there. and. Uh, you've got his, uh, my daughter-in-law here. I got a daughter that works here. This is Rebecca. This is one of my daughter-in-laws there. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> I Crazy think you enough. served me. Didn't you serve us? My my, my wife. We. Yeah. I think she served us last time we were here. So, good. Oh, no. How was the service? Did it's she great. pay you? No, I. <laughs> you know, we tried. I just. I said I gotta try this twenty percent inflation thing oh, for the first great. time. So, we uh, we gave it a shot here. So. And that's Jessica down there. Hi, Jess. Hi. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Come over here, Justin. We 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 got to get Melissa here. Melissa is a staple here. People love Melissa. There you go. Yep. Wonderful and service. Then, Look how bustling and busy, boy. I'm yeah, calling. We're a team. We call it organized calf. This is Justin, uh, one of our bus boys here. Look at the camera, not me, Justin. <laughs> and he he's a full time student at All right. our uh, high school there, and All right. senior. He comes in. And he works a day a week on the weekends. And oh, nice. 
we trying to get my daughter down here to come work, work. part time. You know, see if she wants to work part time down here too. But you know, well, it's, it's a great, it's a it's a great little place for people to just you know, you know, it's, work it's, in this it's area. Fine. It's it's hard to find uh, people that want to work today. I don't know what it is. I've never seen anything like it. I. You know, I started in this business in 1973, and I've just, it, it's been very, not only on me, but on the community in, in general. I was four years old. Yeah. Oh, were you? <laughs> yeah, rub it in. <laughs> I'm trying to get the exit strategy. I actually right. had semi-retired and wasn't going to do any more restaurants, and this became available, and yeah. this is my passion. So my the Tranner family has owned it now for going on 17 years now. Right here. Right. Yeah. I am, I am what I am. I am what I am. <laughs> this week we're putting a new top on over there, and we're going to have this all done with a brake put in so that people uh, have a nice place to stand. All right, here's so this the, is it. This is the history truck, the history trailer this, here. Uh, yeah, it has it for the funeral train and, and uh, Martin Luther King, you know, the... That's cool, though. I remember you did this. Yeah, he did a he did a lot of uh, a lot of speaking in the area and stuff and in, in New England. I did not know that about Elvis. Yep. I did not know that. That's kind of cool. That's uh, I'm even more prouder of Herkimer than. Yeah, we got know that you know. We got Tupac and Biggie and. <laughs> <laughs> this is the. If you if you notice the theme here, there's a lot of. Um, a lot of stars that have passed due to yeah. drug addiction and alcoholism, uh, who yeah. who their careers went by the wayside, yeah. or gang violence, East Coast, West Coast stuff like that. So we try to just feature some of the tribute them, tributes. You know? Yeah, because it used to be a thing called the the Boulevard of Broken Dreams, which I've got up there, and it was a thing with Marilyn and Elvis and Humphrey yeah. Bogart and Jimmy Dean and stuff. And yeah. so I just expanded on it and. And added all uh, it's great. You got the, different stars you got and the rockers. You know, I'm a guitar player. I got to look at Jimmy here. Oh, yeah, I got look Janis at Jimmy. Joplin. You got uh, Elvis. You got uh, Morrison over there. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, being in LA and being friends with with a lot of musicians and stuff. They all used to come into the diner out there, pull right. up in limousines. And, right. You know, my good friend Carmine Apice. He he was with uh, Vanilla Fudge. Yeah, and Jack no, I know, Apice. we know yeah. Carmine. I met yeah. uh, Benny. I know his brother Benny. Oh yeah, Benny's good. Met, met Benny out. In They've the all Kipsy. eaten in the diner. His dad used to, they used to pull up in limousines after shows and yeah. come in and stuff for breakfast. Carmine's been in here. Yeah. Has yeah. he been? Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's pictures on the website if you go on uh, Crazy Auto. Yeah, I got a good friend that's friends yeah. with all those guys yeah. and we went and seen those, uh, saw Benny with the band Last in Line on Poughkeepsie back in yeah. a couple of years ago. Yep. Actually, you know, before COVID hit. Oh yeah, I got stories on that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, so you got the Darth Vader. You got to put Star Wars in here. Yeah. So see, see, see the Diner Wizard up there. That's me. That, I know you wanted me to do an embroidery or yeah. something years right. ago. Right. And see, Darth Vader's trying to get him. Don't know. <laughs> okay, but I want you to see the magic of this. Darth Vader's trying to get the Diner Wizard, but look who's protecting him, Yoda. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's saying stop. <laughs> That's right. Yoda's whacking it. The dark side. Dark side. <laughs> uh, but we have parking meters, right. okay, and they're 25 cents. We don't believe you should have to pay to eat at our diner. So we have a cup with quarters in there. So if you ever pull up, come in, get a quarter. We'll pay your parking. And you did that with Kiefer. Yep, we did it with <laughs> Kiefer. That's it. We sure did. Well, let's go downstairs. I didn't, I didn't know yeah. we were downstairs here. Storage. This is storage. Well, we got that big storage Did they there make too. This like afterwards, or was this oh, always this, here? No, none of this was here before I did it. I did all this. Put the entryways in the back. Changed the configuration down. I did not know this was here. Nobody knows. I think nope. that this is here. I got a whole operation here for baking and stuff, and alto shams. You know, your prime rib. Everything slow cooked. Um, you got your walk-ins, your walk-in freezers. Wow. Yeah, um, 
what an operation. Yeah, everything's all in here, all done, labeled. How convenient. Now, As back in the see. day, what they do before this? I oh, mean, they just who kinda, knows? Yeah, this, we're imagine. putting a whole new do door system on this. This is your freezer outfit. But over here, you know, is all your chemicals are in the back. Um, as you can see, wow. um, everything's labeled and dated and stuff. I, uh, in the past, I'm an actual chef. I was a serve safe instructor proctor for the National Restaurant Association. Right. So I taught all the serve safe principles and everything labeled, rotated right. properly so that you don't have- um, we, got a, we got someone sneaking by here. This is Evan now. Ev Evan's, a, Evan's a good story because we do this with uh, BOCI, culinary department right. and stuff. And so we have interns that come in that we, we train them for a couple of weeks on real life experience, nice. and we always get a lot to come back afterwards while they're going to college and stuff oh, nice. and work with us. Evan is one of them. Jeez, you're going to make me want to work with you. Yes. Hey, yep. you got That's a part time job? Yeah. I'm looking. That <laughs> is. So, anyway, you know, microorganisms, bacteria, cross contamination, we do a lot of things. We do gluten free. If you have an allergy uh, or special need, we take care of that for you nice. here and stuff. We have uh, different utensils and stuff. But it keeps going back as, here. Oh yeah, as ah. you can see, we bought extra flour with the uh, the war in Ukraine and, yeah. and yeah. everything going on. Everything is shot through the roof. Yeah. Uh, this is Sean here. Uh, we're just <laughs> shooting here. Okay. Yeah, we got. Doing? He's cutting and doing stuff back here. Yeah, there's your your sinks and stuff. We got dishwashing down here. Wow, I can't believe how much you did back here. Yeah, here's your. That's your uniforms and stuff, your ice machines. It goes down here too. We've got freezers and <laughs> buffalo choppers, all this other stuff down here. You know, as, as, again, as you can see, everything's rotated properly. Everything's hand cut. Uh, your ham steaks, ham, pork chops, your meatloaf, everything is homemade, hand cut. That's how we do it here. Oh, nice. um, very limited on, on frozen IQF stuff because we, we uh, try to give you the experience of home cooking. All right. Okay. And actually, a lot of people have said with that inflation buster card, it's cheaper to eat here than it is to go to the store now. So that's, something. that's good. It's the old adage, if you get the volume, you'll make your margin. Yeah, and that's what we're trying to do, keep everybody employed. And they'll pick up. So, yep. And so this is it. So what is your days you're open here? Might as well get that on here too. Yeah, so we're, we're um, um, open 363 days a year. We only close on Christmas and Thanksgiving. Uh, every day, 7 a.m., and we close at 3 p.m. Sunday through Thursday, Friday and Saturday, 4 p.m. Okay. And that's just limited right now uh, due to uh, employee shortages. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. I don't understand that. I don't understand it either. There's a lot of work out here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's this this is it. Wow. I would have never thought this was down here. Yeah, th this is where every everything we use... Uh, Boston's best, as you can see, this just came in, um, and we we 100% arabica. We grind it ourselves. Everything. That's why people love our coffee. Okay, because yeah, it's, it's all fresh ground. Yeah, it's all fresh ground. We do it all ourselves. So yeah, this is it. That's the downstairs operation, which I did not know was here. That's that's crazy. Yeah, this is the heart of it. Uh, voted New York's best diner. That's for what the... I wanted to say. That's yeah. That's that's another important thing. Voted New York State's best diner. Yep. Crazy Otto's here. Famous for the Hamburg. Yeah. Got the Hamburg <laughs> deal. <thing. laughs> Got the hamburger. We've won best burgers uh, for the New York Beef Association. Let's best holiday. Up. Best bacon. Best pie. Uh, best of a lot of things. So this is. I mean, you can see the wonderful shape. You know, you, you look at yep. some of these old diners, maybe some in other places, they're all maybe rusted and yep. run down. And for an older diner, this is this is very, yep, very nice this. condition. And then uh, years ago, I almost want to say this was a building when I was a kid that burnt down here. It was. It, was it, it? It was a building like Hummel's that came to the corner. Uh, on the bottom floor was the Rainbow Diner. Okay, that's what it was called, the Rainbow Diner. There were apartments up top. Yeah, I remember when it was vacant here. Just like out the back, it was John's Upholstery and all that. Another building yeah, yeah. burned down. Yeah, that's, yeah, I yeah. remember that. As a kid, we were watching it over here. 
Now we are a three-time world record holder too for the world's largest omelet. I was gonna, the world's largest omelet was out here. I remember that too. We did. We took pictures on top of the buildings down. It was so big. It was uh, over 2,100 square feet, like a pool table. Yeah, the I APA. remember that. Yeah, Ripley's, believe it or not, had it in newspapers and newspaper uh, cartoons the, and stuff. It was the, cool. The biggest omelet. <laughs> a lot of eggs. New York State's best diner, best bacon, best pie crust, best holiday sauce, best atmosphere. <laughs> we allow concealed permits here yes. in America. I do the same we, in my, we, my we, we believe in the United States. We believe in the Constitution. We believe in your rights. Yep. Without getting political left, right, in between, doesn't matter. This is way. America. Um, we have values here. We don't endorse or oppose any cause here at Crazy Outage. You can come in. I don't care. Our primary purpose is to serve the best breakfast, lunch, in the Mohawk Valley, and that's what we do here. You're welcome here, okay? Just want you to know that. Amen. Amen to that. All right, got more customers going in. Yeah. We got up here now, we got the... This was July 10th, 2010. That's the world largest omelet there. And then you're gonna see some other ones up here that were back in, uh, down here. We've got down here that were back like 25 years ago, 30 years ago. What is this one? Yeah. That one there was the first one that we brought the record back from Belgium. <laughs> I had a little longer here then. Uh, that was back in 1991. This was again the world, the, the biggest omelet. Yep. Thing. That was 1,264 square feet. It was only. Uh, and then what do you, you know? 12,000 eggs, I think. What happens the with the omelet after the fact? You uh, split we, it up? We, no, we donate it to the um, pig farmers and stuff, and, and so it's all used. The product's used. all used. We had separate grills that we um, did for charity where we had we um, shared in the excitement. We got <laughs> honors from the governors and just oh, nice. everybody. We got all these plaques and stuff. And nice. It's all for charity. Oh, is that the original? That's the original right there. It's the original right there. And I, I don't know if you've ever been to PK's Pub. Yeah. Okay. PK's, yeah. PK's they, they, the food is great. They're not in competition with me because they're for dinner. But uh, just to let you know, they even eat in here, <laughs> and they have great food. Nice. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. Right. Yeah. And they have great food for the dinners and stuff. And the local businesses, we like promoting each other, keeping right. things local as best right. we can. Um, I'm all for yeah, that. So this is Tony, Dr. Uniforms. I don't know if you ever heard of Dr. Uniforms. This is Tony yeah. down there. Yeah. We're doing a video today. And yeah. Because the American flag that we did after 9-11. This one here and that. Yeah. Oh, you're doing Oh, oh yeah, we striped nice. it with salsa and had the big tortillas and stuff. And over here, that was this one that was a Spanish omelet right here. <laughs> and that was uh, October 12, 2002. It was 1,854.9 square feet that one. Wow. Yeah. Here, you can show this. These are fresh biscuits. Yeah. Notice that. she's wearing a glove. <laughs> <laughs> and not just because you're filming. <laughs> it's done all the time. Yes. Oh, look at that. Unbelievable! Look at yeah. this thing. Yeah. Look at this stuff. Watch out behind you. We're gonna we're gonna get into this right now. Look at this. All right. Look, look at, this. at this. Let's try the biscuits. There. I don't even know how do you. What do you do here? You just kind of. Yeah, you can break it up with your hand. Pour the gravy on top of it. Now, what I usually do is I ask for a spoon, a big spoon. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, look at that. That's like, yeah. I'm, I don't have to eat today. Yeah. My wife, when she goes home, because it's a Sunday. Not, she I'm, not, I'm not just saying this either, but you know, a lot of people come in, they eat the prime rib, and they they say this is, you know, better than the steakhouse that they go and they pay oh, yeah. 
quadruple the bike. Honestly, it, it's it's what you'd call a loss leader, you know, because you don't really make your margins on your on your prime rib breakfast like this. But it's a value and it's a service. It, it's like one of, one of the things um, with the inflation and the way things are going now. When I get a deal on things, being a chef. I get this stuff in and I pass it on. Mm -hmm. So like we're doing a feature right now today that are greens, an eight ounce steak, Angus steak, okay, um, two eggs, your toaster biscuit and gravy, right, and your coffee for twelve ninety seven. How can you beat that? You can't beat that's it. That's crazy. You can't beat it. That's crazy out <laughs> so It is. And so that's what I do is I pass it on. When I can get a deal like that, I pass it on. Um Ham's the same thing, sausage the same thing. Specials at that time, yep. and you know, yep. you grab a, a deal and I do it with turkey, I do it with everything because I'm really on top of the markets, especially you know, with the global markets that we have in your produce. Uh, you're, I'm just using, for instance, you get your strawberries for Driscoll from California, all of a sudden they dry up, and you're getting them from uh, you know, El Salvador mm -hmm. coming up. Or avocados, or you're, you're getting them, it's, believe it or not, from Australia or New Zealand. Um, depending upon the prices and how they go, I work the markets to get the best on the best and pass it on to you. So you're doing your what job. Do. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Yep. Oh, yeah. I kind of do the same thing in the uniform business when I see deals with manufacturing and stuff. And yeah. You know, I pass them along to you. And I, I've seen I, that, yeah. You know, and uh, I do the same thing. I don't price gouge. Yep. On this stuff, I'm one guy up there, so you know, I can kind of help out a little bit better. But it's, it's tough. I think if everybody did this, get us back to shopping the small stores. There's too much, I think, of just big industry taking over, and eventually, I think it's just. It's just too much. I think it's going to implode. You look at the big stores, J.C. Penney's, yeah. Sears, all these big shops. But back in the day, this street here, you know, you know, you had Mungers, you had Woolworths, you had all every street, every every little store down here was a specialty store of something. Yep. When we came here uh, 16 years ago, people said, "What are you crazy?" They really did. I'm not just saying that because well, everything was dying. I'd like to come down here. Yeah, I lived. You know, I lived here. I'm still looking. Maybe you know, I'd like to come back down here myself. You know. So I'm filling up here. I got to finish this food over here. So we're gonna end the show here. That's this right. My buddy Scott here. And we just hope you have a great new year and, and, and just keep the faith, okay? Because there is hope. Just remember, there is hope. Yes, there is. So come on down. Crazy I'm sure, out. Doc. I'm sure, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you want to come on down. Crazy Autos here in historic Herkimer, New York, my hometown. So make sure you stop on down here. And we hope to see you soon right here at Crazy Autos. Right here. At Fire Diner. Yes. You don't have to be crazy to work here. We train you. That's, Just remember. That's right. right. We'll see you. Bye-bye now. Bye.